Two things. What are they? Ice cream and celery. Okay, I've got a question for you. I have one of those two things in my bag behind the lectern. Now, if you guess it right, you get to eat it. If you guess it wrong, I get to eat it. Now, think very carefully about what you think it should be behind the lectern. Is it ice cream or is it celery that I've got there? <laughs> what do you think? Sorry? Could well be ice cream? Could well be anybody want to hazard a guess? Sorry? You think it's celery? Do you like celery? You do? That's just as well. <laughs> Let me see. I go and dig it out here. Here we go. I have a little box of celery. <laughs> Would you like a piece? <laughs> Would you like some? <laughs> there we go. Henry, do you like celery? Maybe not. Yes, that's my answer too. Um, yeah, Pam often feeds me celery and she'll tell you how much I sometimes don't. Oh, it, it's not one of the worst things in the world, but I'm not very fond of celery. The reason I've chosen to talk about this is we're talking about what is good. What is good. Now, if we eat an ice cream, often we will say, mmm, that tastes good. Doesn't it? It tastes good. But the thing is, we know, cel we know ice cream is not very good for us, don't we? It's okay in small amounts, but you can't have a lot of ice cream. What happens if you have a lot of ice cream? Sorry? You put on weight, yes, and it's not very hard to put on a lot of weight eating ice cream. What happens if you eat a lot of celery? You I can tell you, you lose weight because we eat a lot of celery. <laughs> now, so we say, mmm, ice cream tastes good. But imagine if we were to say, mmm, that tastes so good for me. Would you say that? That tastes so good for me. <laughs> so the problem with that, with saying something like that, is we don't associate tasting good with being good for you. We think of them as very different things, don't we? So I know celery is very good for me, so I eat it, but I don't really like the taste of it. So it just shows you when we use this word good, we mean different things by it. We often talk about what we really like, what we enjoy, but then we recognize that some of the things we enjoy are not actually that good for us. So that's something I just want us to, to bear in mind as we talk about this word good. So good can mean different things. Now, what do you think good means to God? What would God call good? Anybody think of anything? Loving others. Loving others is something God calls good. Sometimes that's very easy for us to do. Sometimes it's easy to love somebody else, but sometimes it's easy to get very, very cross with them instead. Is there something else we can think of that God would call good? Kind and helpful? Mm. And if we think about it, I'm sure there's lots of things we can think of that God would call good, but sometimes we don't call them good. So this is the problem with the, the rich young man who asked Jesus the question, what should I do to inherit eternal life. It wasn't that he'd done anything particularly bad. He'd spent his years, his whole life, obeying the commandments. But it wasn't quite enough. And the big problem was what he called good and what God calls good 
were a little bit different. And we're going to think about that idea a little bit more as we proceed through the service um, this morning. So just have a think about what we mean by this term, good, what it means. Because it's a very important thing to grasp that we actually talk about it in different ways. Okay? 